Hey everybody, this is Martin from AIT Teams and in today's video I'll show you how to customize the layout, change the color, change fonts in Citadel WordPress theme. Uh, there are basically two ways how to access customizer. Uh, Citadel is using customizer for all uh, design customization and uh, you can access customizer uh, from your front end <clears throat> simply navigate uh, to customize if you click it will uh, open standard wordpress customizer uh, good thing about this solution is that uh, you are uh, editing everything inside standard uh, or you are doing that using standard wordpress way that means that you can extend it with some third-party plugins and uh, you and your customers know how to use it. Uh, everybody knows how to use uh, Gutenberg. Everybody knows how to use Customizer. If you don't know it, you will have to learn it because this is the future of WordPress. Uh, so this is the first way how to access Customizer. <clears throat> customizer is also available if you go to WordPress Admin, Appearance, and customize. So, uh, in customizer on the right hand side, you you see your website. You can click through the pages. So, for example, if you if you go to blog, you you uh, you go to blog. You can go to uh, individual blog post. And using customizer uh, and settings on the left hand side, you can uh, change everything and see it instantly on on the right side all right so now i will go through in each individual uh, parts of the customizer and explain what is inside first menu is site identity here you can change the logo you can upload the logo change the your title of, of your website subtitle and footer text and uh, also the the icon that appears uh, in a browser uh, if you open the uh, open the tab, you see you see your icon here. You can change it here uh, and save. Next thing is general layout. General layout here you can change the basic or main uh, theme layout. Uh, there are two options: modern and classic. Uh, classic. Uh, shows the sidebar inside the content and the modern shows sidebar uh, outside of the content. If we have uh, some widgets in a sidebar or for a post, for example, it will appear outside of the content. Uh, it's, it's very, very nice. So you can, you, can, you can give it a try. The next option is for footer widgets. Uh, if you're uh, browsing your website on a, on a mobile phone, the widgets won't fit on the, on the side of your site, so uh, widgets are moved to the, to the bottom. And here you can control if these widgets are open or are closed and how, 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 how it will appear on the mobile phone. Um, next, you can configure basically the size of, of your content. Uh, in uh, in Gutenberg, you can use uh, various uh, widths of, of blocks. Uh, you can fit the block into the content. You can make it wide, or you can make it full size. This is uh, this uh, these settings can be changed here. You can set it in pixels, and uh, you can play around and make your website uh, to look uh, as as you want, as you as as you like. Uh, each individual uh, layout that you import have, uh, has all these settings predefined uh, specifically for, for that layout, for, for that uh, kind of website. So uh, one layout is wide, super wide, one, one layout is narrow, uh, it depends. So you can, you can import the layout, have a look how it, how, how it is configured and play, uh, play with that. You can change it and uh, change uh, change the, the width and everything will adapt automatically. You don't have to do any changes to all, all your pages. It will adapt automatically to, uh, to these new settings. Now there is a border radius. 
this radius is used uh, on many uh, on many places uh, in the team for example for for images and so on you can play with that as well to to make uh, the team or your website look exactly as you as you like uh, next option is appearance here you can change the layout of your header for example classic is what we have here you you change it to center uh, the image will move to the top over here and on the on the bottom you'll have the menu we see it here so you can you can change the color of, of menu and so on uh, everything that you that you change will appear on the on on your on your website automatically. Uh, you you can also change the uh, image size size and uh, width, I mean width of, of the logo uh, and the, the the space around the logo. If you have a logo that is that is super wide. Uh, this this will help you to to manage the space you can do this or change that for for desktop you can change that for for mobile uh, next option is a uh, sticky header sticky header or sticky menu uh, this is the burger menu you can you can show, display only a burger you can uh, display sticky sticky header that will that will uh, stay on the top of your page all the time like this and you can configure that for desktop and you can configure that uh, for for mobile again play with that and you'll see uh, what uh, is the best for your website header background is the color of the of the header and uh, you can you can set the color you can upload the image and then configure how this image will uh, appear if it will be cen centered or it will uh, it will repeat uh, and so on so on so you can play with that colors uh, section defines uh, main color of your website so for example this decoration color is used uh, throughout the site for uh, uh, for uh, links for uh, numbers uh, in in the posts or, or dates in posts and and so on so if you if if your color is for example red you set it to red and uh, it will uh, see that it will configure this color on many places and your your website will will look uh, look this way next is uh, typography you can configure fonts for uh, text and for titles and uh, title style if you want bold or you don't want bold depends on you next section is uh, announcement bar you can configure announcement bar uh, what, it, what is the background what is the button color and so on and uh, what is inside the announcement bar you can change in citadel pro settings we covered that in a previous video next uh, is menus you can configure here uh, how your menu uh, look like what is what pages are shown in a main menu what pages are shown in a footer menu and so on uh, next section is widgets you can configure the widget for uh, post so for example here is a post i can add a widget for example i can add uh, an image i will just select the image from uh, the library first image that is here will will do for for this example and uh, I have an image inside automatically so I can see it here uh, for home page settings this is basically the, the default uh, page that is displayed if you if you land on your website so if if you have a website like uh, mywebsite.com you change which which page will be the main one and which page will hold posts so for example our post page is a news page if you if, if you go here this is our post page the default wordpress post page and you can see 
the layout of this page is, is a bit different and uh, you can configure that or uh, everything in, in Citadela special pages. And the last section is additional CSS. Uh, I recommend to put all your CSS code into uh, this editor. It's very handy because if you update the theme or you update the plugin, it will stay or it, or it will always stay there. And if you do any changes here, uh, it will automatically appear on the right hand side. So you can you can play with the CSS live on your other on website. So that's basically it. This is a very brief introduction to, to customizer, and uh, I highly recommend learn at, uh, recommend you to learn. Uh, how to use Customizer, how to use Gutenberg, because uh, in the future all WordPress themes will be based on uh, on this, on 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 the default WordPress uh, editor, default WordPress customizer, and full site editing. That's it for today's video.